Hello and welcome back to our Excel tutorial series. Today we will be diving into the powerful and versatile rank function in Excel, a must know tool for mastering data analysis and spreadsheets. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit that bell icon to never miss any of our Excel videos. Let's jump right in. Alright, let's kick things off by understanding what the rank function does. The rank function in Excel allows us to rank values in a list based on their magnitude relative to the other values in the same list. This is extremely useful when you want to compare and sort data, making it perfect for analytical tasks. Now that we know what the rank function does, let's look at its syntax and how to use it effectively. The basic syntax of the rank function is as follows. Is equal to rank, number, comma reference, comma order. Number represents the value you want to rank within the data set. Ref is the range of cells that contains the data that you want to rank. Order is an optional argument that determines the ranking order. It can be set to 0 for descending order and 1 for ascending order. To help you grasp the concept better, let's walk through a simple example. We have a list of sales figures from different employees and we want to rank them based on their sales performance. We'll use the rank function to calculate the rankings. I'll demonstrate how to do it step by step explaining each part of the formula. So we start by typing our formula here. Is equal to rank. For number, we'll choose our sales figure. For ref, we will choose sales figure range. And to choose it, we can either select just this bit and then use F4 to make them absolute or simply select the whole row by pressing Ctrl and Spacebar. And we can leave the last argument order for now. By default, Excel will take it as 0, which is descending order. So now we have the ranking according to the sales figures as compared with other employees in this table. Now, if we want to reverse order, we simply go to edit our formula and enter 1 here. And the order is now ascending. Don't be confused with the descending and ascending order in rank function. You must be thinking ascending would mean starting from lower value to higher and vice versa. But here rank is doing the opposite. When you select ascending order by pressing 1, it gives the highest sales figure a rank of 7. That's because it's tied up with our total sales figure and how are they sorted. It even says in the balloon tip here, 0 descending rank number as if reference, which is our sales figure in this example, or a list sorted in descending order an opposite for the one ascending order. So if we are to sort our list by sales figure from largest to smallest, which is descending order, and we use the same descending order argument in a rank formula, it all makes sense. In some cases, you might come across blank cells. Like here, please make a note this is a blank cell and not with a zero sales figure, which will look like this since these cells have been formatted as currency. So now we apply our formula here. Let's see what happens. We'll apply the same formula as before. Rank, number, ref, and enter. And we see here hash NA error, which is understandable since there is no value in these cells. Let's see what happens if we enter zero in these cells. And the moment we enter 0 in these cells, rank gives it the last rank as compared to the rest. But I won't advise you to change anything in the sheet you are working with. In a typical office environment, this sheet could be worked upon by more of your colleagues and any changes may result in some issues in future. So we have to find a workaround without making any modifications to the sheet. It's pretty easy to do that. We'll use the if error function with rank. If you are unaware about if error function in Excel, let me give you a quick summary about it. We use it to return with a value or a text string in case our formula might return an error. That's about it. So we'll use if error before our formula. And for value argument, we leave our rank formula, but for value if error argument, we want it to leave the cell blank by using double quotes. Now let's copy and paste this formula in all the cells and our hash NA error is gone. In your workflow, you may come across where the criteria which you are ranking on gives you duplicates. For example, you may have not noticed that in this example of ours, 
There are duplicates which result in the same rank given to more than one employee. Let me show you. If you have been watching our channel, we have several ways to find duplicates. We listed about five of them in this video. Link is on the top right and in the description. But we will use conditional formatting method for this example. So let's select this whole rank column. Then go to conditional formatting in the home tab. Go to highlight cell rules. Duplicate values. And in this drop down here, choose custom fill. And then go to fill tab here. Now you can choose any color you want. I'm going to choose this one here. Hit OK and Excel has filled some cells with that color. To check which ones, we'll use filters. So let's go to the top row here and use Control Shift L for filters and then go to drop down on rank column. Go to filter by color and choose the color we have selected earlier. So now we have two blank cells and rank 77 which has been awarded to two employees because their sales figures are exactly the same. You may be fine with two persons sharing a rank in this case. It's not like at rank 77, they're going to get any price. But let's say we don't want to leave it at that and we want a unique rank for everyone. So what to do? How do you judge two people who have brought in the same revenue in a given period? Do we go to see who is liked more around the office or who is more sincere in his or her job? You know what, let's work with something more quantifiable, like attendance. Just by looking at the attendance data, we clearly know which person is more deserving of this rank. It's the one with 98% attendance. But let's be logical and use a formula to check this. So first, we remove filters by going to the top row and pressing Control shift l And then create another column and name it Tiebreaker. The formula we are going to use may look confusing, but don't worry, I'll explain it to you about how it works. To get this job done, we'll use count if coupled with if function. In a nutshell, our job is to give everyone a unique rank based on their sales revenue and attendance where sales revenue takes precedence. So we will find people with the same sales revenue and then give them ranks according to their attendance. To do this, we'll use this formula. Let's copy this formula to the end and what do we have here? Most of the columns have zero, but the columns with duplicate rank have some decimal value in them. And the person with higher attendance percentage has a higher value. Now let me explain how did this happen. What we did was we used count if to check if anyone has the same sales figure. Then we used it with if function and mentioned if our count if result is more than one meaning one or more employees do have the same sales figures, we should rank only those employees according to attendance, divided by 100 since attendance is in percentage, and if our count if condition is false, return 0 as the result. And that is why we have zeros all over, but not with the ones which have duplicate rank. So now we create a final rank column. Now add our rank and tie break values and copy it to the end. We have hash value error here because our rank cell is empty. You can leave it as is or use if error to get rid of this error. Let's check our duplicate ranks now by using filters on duplicate sales figures. Go to top, control shift L and filter rank by color. And now we have final rank as two unique values. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you have now mastered the rank function in Excel. It's a fantastic tool that will prove invaluable in your data analysis journey. With this knowledge, you will be able to rank and sort data like a pro, making your spreadsheets more powerful and insightful. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy spreadsheeting.